we seen Patty's day. Oops, that's the flag of Ivory Coast. Hold on for a second. Alright, I'm back with Ireland. Anyways, happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you're having a good one. And if you're not, well, hopefully I can change that with Space News Episode 16. Now, even if it is St. Patrick's Day, I was unfortunately not able to get more than one topic. It's only one topic for today. Because of how, like I said, I mean, I couldn't find any other topics for us to discuss. At least yet. So this is going to be a relatively short episode, but, you know, I will say this. Spring for Daylight Savings Time has happened, and not a lot of people like it. And, eventually, I will make a video on solstices and equinoxes, because of how the spring equinox is coming soon. So stay tuned for that, but right now, let's get into our topic, shall we? So our topic today is the full worm moon of March. Now you may be wondering, what is the worm moon, and well, why is it named that? The worm moon is the full moon of March, obviously. And it gets its name from how, well, you know how near the end of March it gets a bit warm because of how, you know, spring is a thing? During this time, earthworms will start to come out of the soil. And when that happens, it's relatively a good sign that spring is a thing now. This moon has different names for different cultures. In Chinese culture, this is called the sleepy moon. The Celtics call this the moon of winds. The Wiccan call it the... Um, if I'm saying this wrong, please correct me. It is called the Chaste Moon, or the Chaste Moon. Once again, if I'm saying that wrong, just correct me, please. The Cherokee call it the Windy Moon, and the Southern Hemisphere call it the Harvest Moon, and the Corn Moon. If you want to figure out how to, like, if you want to know when you can watch this moon, you can watch it on good old St. Patrick's Day, which is the 17th. And you can also watch it on the 18th because of how just when a, just because that a moon phase comes doesn't mean that it will just last for one day. It will last at least for like three days or so. If you miss out on this full moon and you want to know when the next one is going to happen, well, keep your chin up because the next monthly moon is going to take us on April 16th and it's going to be known as the pink moon. So yeah, like I said, hope you guys have a... Oh my god, not again! Alright, now that's better. Anyway, hope you all have a good St. Patrick's Day, and I hope I also made it a little bit better if you're not. It is actually a pretty fun day to um, have fun on it. I mean, I'm not Irish, but I would know that I would have pretty fun on it if I was. But, you know, that's St. Patrick's Day for you. Hope you have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video relating to equinoxes and solstices. Also, keep on stargazing.